So you might be trying to figure out how you can go through and set up an auto clicker on your iPhone. Now, doing this is actually very basic and it really does not take too much time at all. So to get started, what we're going to want to do is we want to go ahead and make our way over to our iPhone settings. So open up your settings app and you want to scroll down until you find accessibility. So tap into accessibility, which is right here. And then you want to go ahead and find an option that says switch control. Tap on switch control. So now that you're in the switch control panel, what you want to do is you'll see these two different options right here, switches and recipes. What we want to do is click on switches and we want to go and click on add a new switch. So tap right into here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to basically click on the add screen option or the screen option right here. So where it says source, click on screen. We want to choose a full screen, which is right here. And then we're going to be able to see a bunch of stuff that comes up right here. If we want to go ahead and do a particular tapping panel, we want to go ahead and basically click on the, and there's a little tap option right here. What we can do is we can tap on tap. And now we have basically a full screen option for tapping. Now, after this, what we can do is we can swipe back and we can click on recipes. So click on recipes now. And then what we want to do is click on create a new recipe. So click here, and then you can name this whatever you want to. In this case, we can name it auto click or whatever you want to do. You can name it whatever you want to. And then you're going to see a assign a switch option. Tap on here. You'll see that full screen option that comes up. Tap on there. And then it's going to go ahead and basically show you basically all the different actions that you essentially have. We can go and click on this custom gesture option, which is right here. Click on here, and then it will bring you into this page. What it's going to do here is it's going to allow you to basically do a custom gesture whichever way you want to. So now you can go through and have it tap, let's say in the middle of the area. So you can have it tap here over and over again. So if you just keep tapping this over and over again, it'll just keep tapping it. So you can just keep tapping whichever way you want to. If you want to tap a different side of the screen, so and so, you can kind of keep doing that. It's kind of up to you. So keep doing whichever way you want to do it. Whenever you're done, you can click on save. And now you've basically just created this custom gesture. You can also choose some of the predetermined ones if you want. Now, after doing that, what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and basically go through and you want to go ahead and basically swipe back. So once you're done here, you can swipe back. You've already created the full screen gesture. The name is auto click. You're basically good to go. So now right here where it says launch recipe, you want to tap on it and you want to choose the one that we just created. In this case, it's auto click. Now go back, right? So keep going back. And within your particular option here, right? You want to go ahead and basically make sure that when you triple click on the power button, it goes through and opens up your switch control. So now swipe back. What we want to do is we want to go back into accessibility and we want to go ahead and go into under our accessibility shortcuts. So right here at the bottom accessibility shortcut, we want to tap on it and we want to turn this on, but we want to make sure that the option that's enabled is basically our, you know, one that we just set up, which is our switch control. Scroll down, find that switch control option right here. Now, every time you click on this particular power button, when you triple click it, it will go through and it will start tapping exactly where we wanted to tap it at. In this case, I'll open up my photos app and watch what happens. If I just triple click one, two, three, it will go ahead and open up my particular one right here. I can tap onto the display and it will start, you know, clicking on the thing that I wanted to do. So you can see it's automatically kind of clicking on it over and over again. So that's essentially how you do it. Now, if you want to kind of go through again, if you want to kind of just stop it from auto clicking, you can triple click on the power button at the end and it will get out of assistive touch and it will just get out of that panel entirely. So that's how you do it. Triple click here. You'll then be able to get into accessibility. You'll be able to auto click and that's basically how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.